to give you a video showing my new and very first 3D printer. This is the Onnit A8 and it's a do-it-yourself 3D printer in the low end of the pricing range regarding 3D printers. Uh, I believe the cost for this is around 200, maybe even up to $300 depending on where you live. Uh, link is in the description below so you can take a look. So just to clarify, this printer arrives in pieces, uh, which might be intimidating to some people. But for someone who don't mind spending a day building, it's definitely a kit worth checking out. Uh, from my point of view, it was fairly easy, I would say. They do include all the necessary hardware, you know, things like screwdrivers, allen keys, zip ties, and things of that nature. So you really don't need anything other than what's already included to successfully build this kit. Uh, I did record some video from the beginning of the build, so I'll just show that right now. Apparently a lot of people like to know how noisy it is, so I downloaded a sound meter app showing the decibel level. So let me place an object in the software. I'm using repeater host with the Cura slicer by the way, which probably doesn't make sense to someone who don't have a printer already. Uh, but I will place the links below so you can take a look. Um, so the printer have now initiated the heating process, meaning it will heat up the bed and the extruder. Uh, which might take a couple of minutes, so I will be back once the printer starts. A few moments later. As you can see, the noise level hovers around 60 decibels, which according to the app is a conversation volume. And I can tell you by just standing here, it's really not that loud. You can definitely be in the same room as the printer. I did some minor modifications, however the two mods I highly recommend you do is number one, print out a better cooling nozzle. Basically cooling is super important if you wish to have a clean print and it solved all my issues regarding printing uh, I had in the beginning. Number two would be building a better filament holder. Uh, with the stock threaded rod, the filament spool didn't smoothly rotate and caused the extruder struggle with the filament messed up all my prints. Other than those two modifications, nothing is really crucial for it to work properly. I did install some LEDs and uh, you know, made a switch for it and everything, but that's just to make it look better. If you enjoyed that video, please share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, do so. Here is a quick montage of things I've made with this printer. One eternity later. 